The FMC begins providing navigation commands to the auto flight system when LNAV engages. And climb commands for the vertical profile when VNAV engages. The FMC commands a VNAV climb to remain within all airspeed and altitude constraints associated with the SID and the climb profile entered during preflight. The climb page is used to monitor and revise the climb profile if necessary. Thrust limits can be revised on the thrust limit page. First, let's examine a basic climb profile. This consists of 250 knots to 10,000 feet and then economy climb speed until cruise altitude. Let's continue the climb. When reaching the initial thrust reduction altitude that you entered during preflight, the auto throttles retard to initial climb thrust. Pushing the initialization reference key during the climb displays the thrust limit page. Notice climb 1 derate as armed during preflight is now active. During climb, should it become necessary or desirable to obtain full rated climb thrust, simply select climb. Select full rated climb thrust. Notice climb is selected and the full rated EPR setting displayed. The ICAST display reflects the changed mode and the auto throttle makes the corresponding power change. Now let's look at the VNAV climb page. Pushing the VNAV key in flight displays the correct VNAV page for the current phase of flight. Display the VNAV climb page. The title of the climb page indicates the current active climb mode. In this case, we're in a 250 knot climb due to the speed restriction below 10,000 feet. The current FMC speed and altitude targets are displayed in magenta. The transition altitude is shown here. Altitudes below the transition altitude are shown in feet and those above are displayed as flight levels. You can change the transition altitude at any time. Maximum angle climb speed is calculated by the FMC and displayed here. To initiate a maximum angle climb, the maximum angle climb speed must be entered into the economy speed line. First, copy the maximum angle speed into the scratch pad. Touch the highlighted key. Now, enter the speed into the economy speed line and it changes to selected speed. Notice the page title changes to modified climb and the execute light illuminates. Push the execute key to make the speed modification active. The new selected target speed is now magenta and the page title indicates active 215 knot climb. The airplane now climbs at the maximum angle climb speed. If a maximum angle climb is required after takeoff to clear an obstacle, the maximum angle speed and obstacle clearance altitude can be entered in the speed restriction line during preflight. Use maximum angle speed and enter the speed restriction required to clear the tower on the hill at the end of the runway. Both speed and altitude are required for a speed restriction entry. Enter the data as shown and select the correct key.
After flap retraction, 215 knots becomes the target airspeed. After reaching the speed restriction altitude, the FMC commands an acceleration to the normal 250 knots below 10,000 feet, and the speed restriction line blanks. When passing through 10,000 feet, the FMC automatically commands an acceleration to economy climb speed. The speed transition line disappears from the display and the economy speed becomes active. The title changes to show that the airplane is in an economy speed climb until reaching cruise altitude. During initial climb, should ATC clear you to a new cruise altitude, enter the new altitude flight level 370 in the cruise altitude line. Notice the altitude change is a modification to the FMC vertical profile. Make the change active. The new active altitude is displayed in magenta and becomes the FMC altitude target. Remember to also increase the altitude in the MCP altitude window. Next, let's look at a complex climb profile with SID constraints and how the profile can be modified on the climb page. We'll use the Laker 3 SID for the Boeing Field to Los Angeles route and include these constraints entered on the Active Route 1 legs page. Laker and Blaco have speed and altitude constraints. Orton and Alder have only altitude constraints. Display the climb page. After takeoff on the climb page, the first waypoint with a constraint is displayed on the waypoint constraint line. The active airspeed and altitude constraints are magenta. If the airplane is unable to obtain the entered waypoint constraint, the error line displays the predicted undershoot. In this case, the FMC predicts the airplane will be 350 feet low as it crosses Laker. The FMC also predicts the airplane will reach the 2,500 feet constraint two nautical miles beyond Laker. As the waypoint constraint is passed during climb, it is replaced by the next waypoint with a constraint. ATC has canceled the altitude restrictions at Orden and Alder. The climb direct function deletes all altitude constraints between the airplane altitude and the MCP altitude. To comply with the ATC clearance, first set cruise altitude in the MCP altitude window. Now push climb direct and execute the modification. All waypoint constraints between your actual altitude and 35,000 feet have been deleted. The climb direct and waypoint constraint prompts disappear because all waypoint constraints have been deleted. Before reaching 10,000 feet, ATC cancels the 250 knot restriction and clears you for an unrestricted climb to your cruise altitude. Use the delete key and delete the 250 knot below 10,000 feet speed transition. The speed transition line disappears and the title changes to an active economy climb. With the speed transition deleted, the airplane climbs at economy speed until reaching cruise altitude. Climb 2 thrust derate is no longer required. Select full rated climb thrust.
ATC has cleared you to a new cruise altitude of flight level 330. Comply with the clearance. ATC requests you initiate a maximum angle climb for traffic separation. Comply with the clearance. The economy speed line changes to selected speed when the maximum angle speed is entered. ATC says you are clear of traffic. Resume normal climb. Touch the highlighted key. ATC requests you maintain 220 knots until reaching 9,000 feet. ATC cancels the 220 knot until 9,000 feet restriction. Comply with the clearance. ATC clears you to climb direct to flight level 330. Comply with the clearance. First, reset the MCP altitude. 